This is Amar from SSLtrust.com Australia and in this video I am going to be showing you how you can make your website secure by successfully installing an SSL certificate through the Plesk Web Hosting Manager. So let's get started. As you can see we are on our dashboard here, the Plesk dashboard and this is our website hosted here sslguides.com.au the domain name and if you scroll down you can, under security you can see uh, the SSL and TLS certificate our domain is not secure if you move over to our domain name you can see uh, the connection is not secure or a warning sign so what we're going to do is install the certificate and make it uh, completely secure so click on SSL and TLS certificates and click on advanced settings here we're going to add an SSL and TLS certificate certificate name put in your domain name here bits to 2048 Australia your country your state location filling all these details here domain name your email now what we're going to do is we're going to request a certificate signing request which is uh, uh, your information stored in a hashed way so it is transmitted securely between servers and it will automatically generate that along with a private key so what we're going to do now is we're going to request click on request here And we're good to go. Our certificate signing request was generated. If you click on your domain name again, and if you scroll down, you'll see your CSR and private key here. So what we're going to do now is copy this from the very start to the very end. You can copy and save it in a file somewhere or in your clipboard. Now what we're going to do is purchase an SSL certificate. We've already purchased one with the SSL Trust. Now what we're going to do is submit our certificate configuration. This uh, must be the same for every SSL validation authority. The process is the same. And what we're going to do now is paste our request here. And click on verify CSR. So if your information pops up just right, so we're good to go. Uh, your server type, Plesk, and click on next step. Fill in all your details here. And if you're the admin and you have a technical contact, uh, if you're the technical contact and you have a different admin, uh, be sure to use your. Uh, input your admin details here or if you're the same person click on uh, use admin details for the same and click on next step so now comes the important part uh, the domain control validation now we got to prove to Sectigo which is the issuing authority in this case that you own the domain name and you have full access to it so there are various methods of validation the first one is the email you should have one of these five email addresses registered on your domain name. It will be set an email with a uh, with a confirmation link. And it's an easy process with this. The second method is the HTTP file. You need to navigate to this folder via your FTP manager and uh, create a text file with this information right there. And name the file as the this written here, the TXT file. And the next method we're going to do is the easiest one for us, uh, the CNN record validation method. So now what we're going to do is copy the first uh, dialog box or the subdomain and head, head over to your domain uh, name provider. And in our case, it's domain square. Scroll down, click on add a CNN record here. Click on add the subdomain. Now go back, uh, copy the alias, click on copy, head back, paste it here as it is, click on update. Once you're done with that, head back over and check your DNS record, click on this button here. So 
So our DNS record was not is not resolved. It's gonna take around a few minutes, up to a few hours, depending on your uh, hosting provider and the time it takes. Come back over here. We're gonna click on submit configuration for now. Okay, our configuration was a success. This is our order number. We're gonna access our validation manager from this button. And once your domain, uh, once your re DNS record is validated, uh, it should be within a few hours at the maximum. Uh, you can access the domain control validation here. You can click select C name, CSR hash, and click on submit, which is not done now. And if you go to the SSL toast dashboard again, if if you lost, you can close it this for now. You can access your validation manager from here too. Okay, so now we're going to wait a bit for this record to propagate and then I'll take you through the rest of the video. Okay, so we're back after a few minutes and it looks like our certificate has been issued and let's check our record. Okay, our record has propagated and it has been verified by our certificate authority. Now what we're going to do is head over, close this up, head over to our dashboard again. Click on our certificate. Now we're going to collect or download our certificate. Click on that button. So uh, you're going to need both of these uh, columns. You, uh, The first one, uh, copy this to a clipboard or save it in a notepad file somewhere. And now we'll head over back to our Plus dashboard. Oh, we're on our dashboard here. Click on SSL TLS certificates again. Advanced settings. And click on your domain name again. If you scroll down, yeah, you'll see two dialog boxes. You'll need to paste your first and the second column here. The first one we have already copied it. And now we're going to uh, upload the certificate as text and paste it here. Paste this here. Go back to your certificate collection and the intermediate certificate of the CA bundle. Copy this to clipboard and paste it here again. And now you'll want to uh, upload your certificate. So click on this button here, right here. And boom, it looks good. Our certificate was uploaded. Okay, once you've uploaded both your certificates, we will now need to manually activate them. Uh, everything is good to go, everything is applied. Head over back to your dashboard. And you'll see the hosting and DNS settings here. And click on your hosting settings. So this is your domain name. Uh, don't uh, touch anything here. Uh, click check on SSL and TLS support. Select your certificate. The original one with your domain name, the SSL support. Click on and this, it be checked. And we're going to click on apply. And we're going to click on OK. So it looks like our certificate is installed. Let's go to our website again. And as you can see, our certificate was successfully installed. The connection is secure and now we're good to go. We're going to test our installation by going to a website called ssllabs.com. Test your server, paste it here, click on submit. Okay, as you can see, we've got an A on our certificate, and it looks like everything is good. Scroll down, everything looks okay. Configuration is good, TLS packages are good. Okay, so pretty much if you get an A, you're good to go. Your website is now 100% secure, and you can carry on with your transactions or whatever you do with your site and your users will be protected. 
So if you have any questions, please drop it down in the comments below. Or if you need any uh, support, please contact our support team at SSO Trust. Thank you for watching this.